Oh, hey y'all. So, wheat prices are up. We need to sell our wheat. Looks like Quaker Oats is giving us a good deal. Also, got call from Mike's Garage. Said our uh, tractor's ready. So we need to pick that up. Let's get to it. So, uh, just jumped off the computer there. I'm gonna go down here. So I did have my truck in the shop here. I was running through it just to make sure the frame wasn't cracked or anything. I'm feeling a lot better, by the way. So my neck pain went away. I didn't end up having whiplash, so that's really good. So I'm glad because I've heard some horror stories on that. So other than that, I've made out pretty well. Uh, I'm surprised even the hitch because of the the hitch of the trailer broke away and really didn't cause any damage to the gooseneck hitch didn't really cause any damage to the gooseneck receiver or any of the mounts or anything so luckily I lucked out the cement truck driver he was all right uh, he did end up uh, basically totaling that truck because the cab is so far up and everything you got the the trailer frame cracked the engine block which basically totaled the truck I think the cement company will try to use or shell out the actual cement mixer on the back but the truck body itself and the engine and frame basically total but luckily he made it out with a few scratches not a big, not too big of an issue, especially with them suicide cabs. You never know; they're they're pretty dangerous on head-on collisions. So, uh, my plan is to actually take this truck in. I do know it needs realigned. It has a nasty pull to the left now. So, luckily, we're headed over to Mike's garage, so we will get that in there and get it serviced. And hopefully pick up our uh, tractor I called Buck he said he we can borrow a trailer because we're out of trailer right now so we'll run down there borrow his trailer try to get the uh, the tractor back and then hopefully we can get to haul on some grain this truck has a nasty pull to the left here probably because the steering got misaligned during that accident I keep on having to recorrect it to the right side but definitely stop at this stop sign so basically I forgot to fill my brakes with enough fluid I believe that's why they went out I just ran out of fluid I basically refilled my brake fluid and I've had no issues so far checked it for leaks no leaks so basically I that was my fault I probably caused that accident so I feel pretty bad to the truck driver so obviously after a wreck like that that's most likely gonna be uh, considered my uh, fault because I blew the stop sign and uh, went into oncoming traffic luckily no one was majorly uh, injured or anything but stuff like that makes your insurance company uh, put you in a higher bracket there so I'm definitely worried about how much I'm gonna have to pay for insurance here so that is not gonna be a small fee that's for sure it's like uh, Jake here built him a little uh, overhang a little uh, two-sided shelter there definitely still has all his stuff parked in there like sardines it looked like he did not get this 8820 sold that he tried to sell in the auction. That's unfortunate. So Buck said that the trailer would be parked right over here to the side. Right where he said it was. We'll go get this hooked up quickly here. So hopefully with that tractor and this three-quarter ton truck, it doesn't give it too much squat with this trailer because it's a bumper pole type trailer or hitch pole. Hopefully it's not too much of a 
squat on the back of that truck. Hopefully I can get that steer because I'm having a really hard time driving it down the center of the road. You definitely don't want to drive a truck too far with this your steering out because you'll wear out your tires, possibly get in, into a wreck. So it's not a safe way to drive. And with my insurance the way it is, I, I, I can't take another wreck, so accident. So we're pulling right up here to Mike's garage. So I think I'll unhook this trailer. There's our tractor right there and put it over there on the lift for him to adjust the steering. All right, just driving on over to his lift here. There we go. And I think we'll run down to the diner while this is getting fixed and then uh, catch him back when it hopefully he can have the steering done. All right, that was some good bacon, eggs, and sausage. So we will head back and hopefully Mike's done with her truck. So Mike said he still has a few more things to touch up on the truck. He said we can give our overhaul 5088 a little spin around the block here just to see if we like it. All right, let's see if this old girl starts up. Oh, wow. Starts up the first turn in 30 degree weather. That's a good start. So we'll put it in reverse here, back up a little bit, very nice. Well, that's a good looking tractor there. So transmission has no issue so far, Let's see if it'll go up to full speed. Yep, we're hitting all the gears. So it maxes out at 26 mile an hour, not the fastest. Actually, it's a pretty nice tractor. So I don't know exactly what I'll use this for. It's kind of a, a 5088. It's, I think, their first, uh, their smallest 88 series they had. So they're smaller of the 5000 series 88s so it probably uh, will most likely just take the duals off and use it mostly as a uh, baling or uh, mowing tractor maybe or hayden tractor but if all else fails we'll look good driving it so we will leave this park right here until we can get our truck gets done all right truck is done i took it around the block and it is straight as an arrow good to go so now we need to get this uh, 5088 up on the trailer there and get it chained down so we definitely don't want to put too much hitch weight on our three quarter ton truck so i probably need to look into getting a good one ton truck sometime I think I'll leave the tractor right there. I think we'll have enough positive hitch weight so we won't have back pressure and that should be it. Maybe just a hair back. There we go. That should be good. So now all that weight is on the rear. Make sure we have it pretty balanced. Oh, looks like we're good there. So, whoo! Now we got some squat now. So that definitely puts a little squat on the, the old three-quarter ton. So let's get these ramps done and get Mike paid. So it cost us about $16,000 with our uh, pickup and the tractor repair. So I don't know. It's probably pretty... I think Mike gave us one heck of a deal for an overhaul and a transmission overhaul basically so i think we got a pretty good deal you know a, a lot of people have been kind of giving me a little uh bit of grief around here lately so basically i guess i should have just 
left my uh, beans. This is an automatic truck. I should have just turned off the key and that would have gave me some brakes. It wouldn't have been good on the transmission, but at least I wouldn't have went across the highway in front of a cement truck. That's for sure. All right, so we're just going to leave this parked right here. So as you know, I need to sell some grain. I just got a call that there's a, a semi and trailer local here that the guy wants to sell pretty bad. I think I may go to try to buy it just because I think we need a, sim a grain trailer and a good semi to pull it to add to our lot here because there's farmers all around us. I mean, come on. Now, being said is parked on the trailer for now. What truck do I want to bring? Should I bring the Chevy? The Cheyenne Chevy? Or the Ford? Let's see if this old Ford starts. Ugh. I didn't leave this plugged in, so this... This is definitely a hard start for it. Alright, start it up now. So, we'll go head down to town and go try to look at this, uh semi quickly so of course we're gonna pull in here to Casey's and grab us a coffee man I left my lights on that Ford kind of looks pretty nice doesn't it kind of like the looks of this old Ford truck gonna have to drive this a little bit more often I think good change of pace to the Dodge that's for sure kind of like the sound of this old girl a lot better though I'm just gonna pull up over here so the guy actually met us at the hotel we worked out most of the deal on the phone and he agreed to drive it halfway to meet me in the city of Moore here so we can come look at it in the hotel he was actually en route to do something else so don't know I think one through this light and it should be to our left hand turn here. Ooh, that thing is pretty. Thing looks pretty to me. Ooh, so let's go look at this thing. So, what I know already is this is a uh, Kenworth W900L. Uh, 2006 it has close to a half a million miles so it's all all road miles on it it has a chrome package on it uh, the engine and transmission have recently been overhauled so it it has a few more years on it but I just love the look of these uh, Kenworths Almost exactly like my other one, just a little bit older than that one. Uh, let's see. Uh, so, and then it has a 2015 Wilson trailer. So, this is a big Wilson trailer. So, you don't usually see hopper bottoms this low to the ground on these trailers and the sides so high. So, most, uh, you, it just kind of is. You don't usually see this in the states because you can easily overload the trailer. So farmers usually get about a uh, 1,200 to a, maybe a 1,300 bushel trailer. This is really uh, maybe a 1,800 bushel trailer. So you, you can overload this, but I guess you can carry more light grain with this trailer. Let's go talk and see if we can do a test drive. All right, he said we can test drive it. We'll test drive it quickly and see if we can work out a deal. Starts up real nice. So looks like everything works inside here. Uh, the 
air, there's no leaks in the brake lines. The steering is very responsive for such an old, so many miles on a truck. So, pretty good semi. So let's start heading on back over here. So I'm pretty sold on this. So let's see if we can strike a deal. I'm thinking I might be sh extreme low ball, but I have I have I'm a dealer. I can't be paying outrageous prices. So I think I'm gonna start at 65 and see if we can get it. Nice. The brakes work really good. Let's see if we can get this deal done. All right, so I got it. I ended up paying 70,000 for the pair. So I think that's a lot. I think I've really got a great deal on the trailer. So I think the truck is at least worth 50K, maybe more, probably more to be honest, maybe close to 60. That's at least what we will start out with on our sticker price on our lot in the trailer. Probably maybe uh, 50. So I think I got a great deal. But we need to get this back home so we can start hauling. This truck looks so good driving through the city. Such a good looking truck. I love the flat nose of these uh, Kenworths how the the cab is sharp edges or uh, straight edges of the cab while it goes up like that I've always liked these uh, non sleeper trucks like this just the appearance of them so I know they're not very practical for uh, truck drivers but I just like the appearance it's definitely you can get a little bit more money farmers rather have these than the sleeper cabs all right, so we are going to take this over to our grain bin set and start hauling, filling it up with grain, start hauling to the elevator. So we're filling our uh, front hopper here. So fairly good. I had, I really had to get close with the semi here. I'm going to have to, when I build my uh, other lot, I'm going to have to expand this because I don't have enough room for trucks to kind of unload here. So I probably should have put that more at an angle, but just because the way it is, it kind of has to be that way so I don't hit the trip. There we go, I'm filling up the back hopper now. So we might overload this, so no one look. No one look at down at the bushels. Oh yeah. 1700 bushels so we'll get this tarp put on this we're gonna shut off our auger here there we go and the tarp is automatic so you just push button that thing watch I could do it in the cab bam quick let's pull up the map on our phone here and try to find where we need to go I need a find Quaker Oats Quaker Oats so that is just past the city of Moore there looks over there by the fairgrounds up here so we will head down there hopefully we can get a few loads done or hauled today so this is a tricky driveway to go on with this big semi Gonna have to cut this nice and sharp there. There we go. So, looks like I made it pretty easily actually. Thought it was gonna be more trouble than that. Hauling grain. We'll make sure we start breaking at the top of this hill this time because we don't wanna do that twice in a row. Oh. That's a cement truck. Them things scare me now. Look both ways. You should be good. We'll pull out. Man, that truck looks good going down the road. It's only because of the driver. I mean, I don't know. Good looking truck. Real rolling coal. 
Love how this thing smokes. So it looks like we have to wait for the train that's ahead of us. And I think our stop will be right beside that somewhere. Looks like a long train. Oh, we just hit the tail end of it. Come on, the train's passed. There we go. Now it goes up. This should be our turn right here. This is our scale, so we'll jump on that quickly. Oh, the scale must be broken. How am I going to do this? I have to go talk to them. Luckily, uh, their scale's broken, so they can't see how much we uh, overloaded this. Or we just overloaded it that much. I don't know. All right, so we are dumping in here. The first hopper anyways. We'll dump the back hopper here. Another 13,500, that's nice. Help pay off this uh, semi. Haul on a few loads of these. All right, let's get another load loaded up. We're just pulling in here to our turn here. So hopefully I can get another load loaded up before the elevator closes. So I only have 30 minutes, so it's going to be close. So it takes me a while to get the truck position and the auger set up. So it's going to be a close one, but I'm going to try to catch it right in time. We're filling up the front hopper. Still got some time. Get that filled up. Looks like that filled up. Going to have to move the truck ahead. Start filling that up right away. Gonna have to readjust the auger slightly. All right, let's shut this off here. Just turn that off. Kill switch is off. It's good to go for the night. We'll shut this door up. There we go. Now, let's see if we can get to the elevator on time we still got plenty of time so it only took us 30 minutes to fill up that uh this truck so we still got 30 minutes to try to get it to the elevator this truck sure looks good driving in the night with all the marker lights on it just makes it shine in the night just look at that in the background just a beautiful look I think still making great time so we still have some we should make it to the elevator just driving through town here nice and slow looks like squad still needs to pick up his 4640 over there hey uh, buddy you did not have a green light you should at least stop for that turn. So we should make it with eight minutes to spare. As long as we don't get held up by the train. Looks like we got over the train tracks. Let's get over here and get weighed. Look at that. Seven minutes to spare. We just got here on time. Look at that. Made about $54,000 today in grain sales. And I still have multiple trucks I still have to haul out over there. But thank you all for watching. And I will see you later. Uh-oh. 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 Almost got hit by a train. Looks like it's coming. But thank you all for watching. And I will see you later here in Iowa thank you all for watching like comment and share and subscribe see you next time